right, everybody, hail and welcome back to yet another episode of Midgard Musings. Thanks so much for joining me again today. My name is Jesse, and I'm the host here on this channel. This is your first time here, and things pertaining to Norse heathenry, or Germanic paganism, and quite, a, quite often what is referred to in modern times as also true. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel right down here. Um, if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you enable that bell notification. Just click that little bell icon. Uh, and then you'll be notified whenever I do upload new content. Usually upload one video a week uh, and occasionally we'll go live here on the channel. So for sure, if you uh, want to stay in the, in the loop with everything that I do, please make sure that you are uh, subscribed to the channel and all that fun stuff. Don't forget to also check the description down below for uh, the link tree um, at the very top of the description area for all the ways that you can support Midgard Musings. Um, got a Patreon page, you know, there's merchandise through Teespring, you can always donate monetarily through PayPal, or, or there's this coffee app, you can buy me a coffee, so on and so forth. Check it all out and see uh, what kind of fits your way of supporting this channel. Alright, so today's video is um, going to be on the subject, um, something that I think about a lot, and something that I hope that as, um, you know, we get more and more people coming into heathenry, um, some of the some of the older uh, ways of thinking, some of the older worldviews, uh, become more common, right? Um, there's a lot of folks out here that are very new to heathenry, um, as we all were at one point when we first got into it. That potentially could have been um, influenced by a previous uh, religion or a previous faith that they came from, and so a lot of those notions, a lot of those worldviews and stuff, kind of transferred over a little bit, and so there's a lot of learning. Um, you know, it's, it's an ongoing learning process, of course, but uh, the main thing that I'm talking about today is the fact of our, um, what is, you know, we all know of as a legacy, um, or our individual legacy, and the legacies that we leave behind um, from when we are no longer physically walking uh, on Midgard. Um, and I wanted to talk about this, um, it, it became the subject that I thought was important to talk about, um, because there's a lot of, I've seen a lot of, you know, content out here and I see a lot of people uh, asking, you know, uh, what happens when we die. I've even done a lot of videos about what I perceive and how I see parts of us, where we go when we die, what happens when we die. Um, but it seems to be so heavily focused on, um, at least in, in some of the circles that I've seen, um, that I wanted to just kind of bring to light that, you know, for, for most heathens, especially ones like myself who, um, you know, follow a Germanic you know, view of things or a Germanic pagan structure versus any other regional pagan path, because of course there are many all over the world. Um, but in this particular path for me, um, I don't really care <laughs> what happens when I die, uh, because I'm going to be dead. Uh, my physical shell will be dead. Um, it doesn't really uh, bother me too much about thinking, well, well where am I going to go when I die? Am I going to end up in Helheim? Am I going to walk the you know, the fields of Asgard, am I going to be in Valhalla, am I going to do all, you know, all these types of things where it's like, it doesn't really concern me too much because whatever's going to happen is going to happen. What is, is, what is a concern for me though, and what I do focus on in my daily life is what legacy do I leave behind? What will I be known for? What memories will people who live have of me? Because um, I'm going to refer a, a lot throughout this video, at least a few times, uh, for one of the most probably quoted stanzas of the Havamal, um, which, depending on the translation that you look at, is going to say something different or slightly different, um, but it basically says, and I'm just going to say verbatim, that cattle die, kinsmen die, we ourselves also will die. One thing that does not die is the fair fame of one who earns it. So that to me tells me that yes, everyone's going to die. We don't know anything about where we will end up for quote unquote this eternity or, or anything like that. It's not like, you know, our deeds right now are going to uh, determine where our eternal self resides or, 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 or it's not like I believe in any sort of, you know, uh, punishment after death or anything like that, um, which was kind of the way I was raised to believe in, in, in a very Christian uh, way of thinking. Um, so, because I don't have that to think about, and that's not something that I'm thinking about, my actions now are to ensure that the fair fame, my fair fame, never dies. You know, 
And that is done through our deeds. That is done through what we do and how we interact with people day in and day out. Um, what we are known for, how we are known by others. Um, that's all kind of the uh, parts that get added into this well. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about that too throughout this video. When I mean adding things to the well, what well am I referring to? Um, we, are, we are in the time of... When you, when you look at um, the various um, sacred figures um, in Norse lore um, and throughout you know, heathenry, we have those of the, the Norns. And I've done a video on the Norns. I'm sure everybody who's watching uh, my channel who has, for any length of time, been a heathen knows who I'm referring to. And the Norns are Urd, Verdandi, and Skut. Now, we are in the time of Verdandi. We are shaping things now, we are doing things now that shape the here and now, which is Verdandi's realm. Um, the things that happened before us, uh, the things that have already happened, the things that we cannot go back to change, that is the realm of Urd. And the uh, Urdabrun, the, the well that I'm talking about, these are things uh, that we pull from, so our Orlog is in that well. We inherit those things from our ancestors. All the deeds, all the all the things that they did, all the things that they said, um, the interactions that they had with their families, their kin, their tribes, that sort of stuff, has all been poured into the well uh, of Buddha the Brutal. Now, we can't change anything that's been put there. What we can do, though, is we can add to the well now, so that way the next generation, our descendants, who have Orlog from us that we leave behind to pull from, have good things to pull from, they have good strong Orlog, um, and that will add yet another layer uh, into the well. So that's where the legacy thing comes in for me, right? It's, it's, we have parts of ourselves that will live on after our physical self has, has perished or died or expired, if you will. Um, I've done videos on the parts of self, which you can go back and check in the annotated cards that appear uh, as we go throughout this video. But, um, you know, the legacy is that fair fame that I mentioned in the, the, that one stanza from the Hogemol. is the fair fame of one who, who uh, earns it will never die. That is our legacy, you know. So what legacies we leave behind are going to have a very strong impact uh, or can have a very strong impact on our descendants, on our loved ones, those who are going to be alive after we're gone. Um, what they say about us, you know, the words that they speak over the horn, um, the memories that they recall, uh, the deeds that we were known by and known for, all those things will keep ourselves alive and parts of ourselves alive, that fair fame. And you know, so the reason that I, I wanted to talk about this and kind of bring this to light is that um, we can't change anything about when we die. That that part has been faded. Um, cattle die, kinsmen die, we ourselves also will die. That much is certain. Okay, doesn't we don't know when, we don't know how. We, nothing that we do is going to change when or how that happens. It's so so. It's it's really of little consequence as to you know where am I going to be, what's going to happen after I die. Who cares? What you should be caring about right now is leaving a legacy, leaving something where your fair fame will never die. Your songs will always be sung, um, and they will be good songs, and they will be things that your descendants can be proud of to have you as an ancestor for. And, that, and as such, you will be closer to them. Um, I feel very close to um, some of my ancestors who I keep alive through, you know, remembering them, speaking of them, um, you know, the deeds that I do are, are to honor them, to, to make sure that the things that they did to give me good luck, to give me that good Orlog, that it was not done in, in vain and that they didn't go through those things unnecessarily and to keep their legacy uh, alive and to keep their fair fame alive. You know, so it's all about your reputation, it's all about the fame, and, and when I say fame, I don't mean like I want to be famous, you know, that's not, don't, don't misconstrue. <laughs> the word and what I mean. Um, that's why I wanted to mention all throughout this video that it's your legacy, right? It's not like I want to have, you know, 8 million subscribers on YouTube and I want to, you know, be known all throughout the world or whatever. No, I want to have 
I want to have good deeds done for those that are nearest and dearest to me. And if I can help anybody else, you know, whether it be through you know, YouTube videos or, or, or meeting in person or doing things, you know, that, that will help another uh, in their growth that's not going to hurt me or mine, great, you know. Those are all good deeds that are being added to the well now in, 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 in this time that we are in, in, in the Verdandi, that are going to shape what will and, 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 and what could happen to school, you know. So our descendants will be in their Verdandi times, but that is not now for us. That is in the realm of school, and, and, and what we are doing is shaping that, right? What we are doing right now is shaping that. So we can, we can shape it for the good. Our deeds can be those of renown. Um, we can, and it doesn't have to be big or bold things, you know, guys. Um, it doesn't have to be that you are, you know, building a hof somewhere on property that you bought, you know, a thousand acres and you're turning it into a, you know, a recreated, you know, n Norse village or something like that. It doesn't have to be anything grand like that. Hey, if that's what you can do and you want to do that, pff, rock on, right? That's a pretty fair, <laughs> that, that, that will give you some fair fame for sure. Um, but it doesn't have to be that grand or that exuberant. Um, the thing that I'd like to um, remember is something that, um, if you guys have watched my videos, you know who Eric Shervin is from The Raven's Call. Um, so Eric Shervin has mentioned uh, in some of his videos, at least I think, uh, me personally, like we, we've talked in a video, and he mentioned how that we are in saga times. We are in times that now the stories are being written, and those stories will be told, you know? Um, so what we want to have added to those pages, those stories that are being written, is entirely up to us, and we want them to be good stories. Things are going to be up and down, you know, obviously you're never going to have the same plane of things going on. It's always, you know, roads are going to be bumpy, there's going to be curves that you have to navigate around, it's gonna, there's going to be challenges. Life is just life, you know what I mean? We don't want to um, be delusional in sense of what reality is and how sometimes things just are rough, you know? Um, but we are nonetheless in saga times. These stories that are being written, we are going to be a part of those stories that our ancestors, or sorry, that our descendants read about, uh, that we were living in as, as their ancestors. So, how will you be remembered? What are you doing now to be remembered? Don't worry about where you're going to be when you die, because when you, where you, where you go when you're dead, that's... We want to be known and remembered in times of the living. We want the living to know about us, and we want the living to sing our songs and speak well of us and have our fair fame never die. So that is where my mind has been very recently, and I wanted to share it with everybody here today. So I hope that me, you know, sharing what I had to say is, is giving you guys some things to think about um, and, and shift your focus. You know, if you are one who thinks more about death and after death and the things that happen after death not to say that it's you know it's very fascinating and it's very interesting and don't get me wrong i love looking into those things and thinking about those things and, and educating myself and, be, and becoming more knowledgeable especially for those of us who are uh, heathens who work in you know some of the more spiritual aspects of things when we are you know casting runes or when we are working in uh save kona or save mother or um any of the other um you know, spiritual kind of woo-woo stuff that uh, fits into that, you know, category. Um, that's definitely something we think about. We communicate with our ancestors. We speak to those who are not physically with us, who are, you know, in hell's hall, uh, per se. So, not to say that we don't think about it and that we should ignore it, but the focus I would hope, at least, that more people um, lean towards nowadays is what are you doing to shape the now? What are you doing to, of course, now is being shaped whether you have your hand in it or not, but what are you doing to actively make it a good thing and make it something that your descendants will benefit from and that your fair fame will not, fair fame will not die uh, when you're not here anymore. So I hope, again, that this has been something for you all to consider uh, and ponder. Um, and if it is, definitely jump down into the comment section and let us know. I'd love to hear what everyone's thoughts are on this. Um, and if you so want to share, what are you doing now to, um, you know, build that fair fame and make sure that your legacy is uh, not going to, to be forgotten. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around. Uh, the more interaction we get on these videos, the better it is because more people get to see it and get to share their thoughts. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. Hail. 
and I'll see you in the next one.